What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Ness. I go under the name Nestination. It's the name of my company and my artist name. So you can find me anywhere on social media. Just look up Nestination and you'll find me there. Anything that has to do with creativity, about creative pho photography, filming, making music, art, I love it. I wanna share it. I wanna share tips and tricks with you. So everything that has to do with that, but also with gear. I love gear. I'm a gear junkie. I love, I love new gear. I love things that enrich my life for the better. And I wanna share it with you. I do reviews, I do unboxing, I do all kinds of stuff. And I go on an adventure once in a while. And also that I like to share with you. So if you're interested in that, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. But I'll see you now, right? Because you're here now for this video, right? And this video is about Adobe Lightroom. How to be better at Adobe Lightroom. I love taking pictures and the pictures already is a creative process because you have so many things to think of, right? The angle, the settings, the filters, the, the thing you're photographing is all part of the creative process. And I really love that. But it doesn't stop there. And that's the great thing about photography, I think, because it keeps on getting better. Because the first thing is you have to think about a subject, about the thing you're going to shoot. And then you're going to shoot it. And then you think about how you want to present it to others. And then the creative process is really beginning for me. Because in the beginning, you have an idea. And so you think of a thing that you want to photograph. And then you execute on that idea. And in the beginning, it maybe is, is not that what you had in mind, but then you shoot some more, you move around, you move the thing around, you go to different places. And then suddenly, damn, yes, 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 you got that. Mm, you got that nice picture. But then you go home and then you watch it. And then you think, Oh yeah, yeah, they're nice, they're nice, but I can make it even nicer, even nicer. You want to highlight the things that you had in mind that you captured with your camera, right? And that's something I really love because with a program like Lightroom, you can really enhance that vision you have. So you can really point the things out that you really want to show your audience. And I really love that. So you already have a good picture, but you can even make it better. A lot better, a lot more professional, a lot more shiny, a lot more that you really suck into the image. And that's something I really love because it's a creative process on itself. So today I want to talk about this process. So let's say you have taken a really nice picture at an event like I'm going to show you. I went to this photo fair event and I took some really nice pictures of this really cool steampunk group. And I want to show you the pictures I took and how I turned them into like something really special. I think really special. In the beginning, the photo already looked cool, but then it was not what I really had in mind. But then I added it in Lightroom and I thought, boom. Mwah, magnifique. I love it when a picture is tasty. And then you think tasty, what is tasty? I'm gonna show you what tasty looks like, all right? I'm gonna show you from the beginning till the end how I edited this photo. I'm gonna show you on the iPad, but this is, can also be on the computer, on your phone. It doesn't matter what device you have, you can edit it anywhere, as long as you have the Adobe Lightroom app. Not the classic, the other one. Because Classic has a different way of working and I found this way of working from the Adobe Lightroom app a lot more convenient, a lot more quicker and it's a lot more accessible, I think. So let's dive into this process on how to edit like a pro in Adobe Lightroom. Let's go. All right, so you go over to your Lightroom app and then you go to the photos you have imported into Lightroom. Then you can see here all the pictures I took of that event, the photo fair event with the steampunk area. I really loved it. It was a really nice day, a hot day, very sunny and bright day. So there was a lot of light. So I took some pictures and like the skeleton here, it's a real steampunk feeling I, I feel. I really have the steampunk feeling here. So you see some uh, potions on the right and you see this really cool gadget on the head of the skeleton and some other gadgets in the background. And I took this with my 1.8 aperture new lens from Nikon. I really love this one because you can really get this unsharp background and really detailed in the front. So I think this already looks kind of cool, right? But I turn it into this. So it was this before and I turned it into this. And 
I'm gonna go over the settings that I made for this. Let's dive into it. Just see, I'm, I'm gonna open the tab, light, and already you can see here what I've done. But first and most of all, I tap this little button here and I play around with darker tones. So you can play around with sliding this up and down and you see what it does. So it turns the darker tones more darker or lighter. So depending on your preferences, of course, because it's all preferences. Play around with it and also the mid-tones. So play around with these. You also see the change here, right? So you see what it does to the image. And then the lighter also see what happens. So this is already a very important process of editing your picture. And once that is done, we go over to these settings. And then you can already see I've played around a little bit with the lighting. Because if you turn it a little bit darker, you already see a big difference, right? So you see already it's getting a little bit moodier and I thought it's really nice. And then you can play around with the contrast. So the contrast is also very, very important. You just have to play around with these sliders and see what it does. And then you can adjust them to your own preferences, of course. And then of course the highlights. So because it was a very, very sunny day, there were a lot of light, so a lot of light coming in. And because of the 1.8 aperture, there was a lot of light coming into my lens. And I wanted to have this sharp image and the unsharp background. So this is something you have to play around with in the after editing because you cannot take a picture with all, yeah, with all the details already there. So that's why a program like Lightroom is very, very cool. So as you can see, I put down the highlights all the way down and you can already see what it does, right? Then also the shadows. If you play around with them, you can already see what it does, right? So a little bit more to the left and you can already see what it does. Also the white tones, there was a lot of white tones in it and I didn't like that as much. So I turned them down as well. And then you go to the black tones and I really love this because then, I don't know, it just gets more, more quality I think. So the, the image gets more, yeah, a lot more quality. So if you do this, you already can see what this does to the image. It's really cool, I think. So then, this is done. Then we go over to the color. So, and here you can play around with the temperature, the color tone, the livelihood of the, the overall picture. It's, it's something you can really make your picture have a certain feeling. So you can also make it really, like maybe cold, you know, you wanna have a, you want to make it a really cold day so you can turn the temperature a little bit down. So now it looks a little bit more cold, right? And that's something that, that can make or break your, your picture as well, I think. So what I've done, I put it more on a warmer tone because it was a really warm day as well. It was a really, really hot day. So this really captured that day as for me as well. And then you can play around with the color tones, of course, a bit more purple, a bit more green. It's also, again, preferences. And the livelihood, so you can make it a little bit more lively, but don't overdo it because then it looks like you added it a lot. And you want, of course, your picture to look like it was taken like this. But it's very hard to take a picture like this with a camera. In a really sunny day, it's, it's really hard. You almost can't. But that's why a program like this, like Lightroom, is so powerful. All right, then we go over to effects. So a lot more texture. And these are really the small things that make a big difference, right? So if you zoom in a little bit and then play around with the texture, you see, you see the texture really coming to life, right? That's really cool, I think. And then the, the clearance makes the picture coming alive. The, the, the skeleton comes alive here. Also, if you wanna create a dreamy effect, you can slide this to the left and then you have a lot less detail and it looks more like it's yeah someone is dreaming this or something like that you know and again also preferences but for me i liked it this way because it gets more of the rough the rough feeling that steampunk has right and then of course a vignette 
the, the vignette is something you use to give the image more attention. So certain areas of the, of the picture, you get more attention. Because if I look like this, if I do it like this, you can see that your attention is more drawn to the skeleton. And if I move it around, if I remove this, then your attention is almost everywhere. And you don't want that. You, because my focus point here is the skeleton head. So a little bit vignette, if you do it too much, you know, it can be, but it's, yeah, I don't like it that much because I also like to have a little more attention on the background, but just slightly, like 20, 24, something like that. And then you can sharpen the image, of course, as well. So this is all about the details. So this is something you have to play around with and see what you like the most because it's also a style you're developing, right? So it's something you have to get familiar with and you also want to yeah, develop your own style. So yeah, play around with it and see what it is that you like. And then it's done, you know? So you have the before and you have the after. Before, after. Something, damn, I really think it's nice, right? And I did this also this one and this one has a little bit of different style and a little bit different atmosphere than this one this is more sunny a lot more yeah warmth is, is in here and this is more cool and I also really liked it and once you have done all these editing you can also play around with maybe black and white because it also looks really cool in black and white right yeah yeah play around with it and see what it is that you like also this one, I turned it around, boom. And you can immediately affect the whole atmosphere with playing around with the temperature. But don't make your every picture like really, really sunny, you know? Because in the beginning it looks nice, but then if you do all your pictures like this, it's not gonna be nice. Trust me, it's not gonna be nice. And you have to play around with it. And also, depending on the picture, on the feeling you wanna bring over to your audience, it has to be fitting the picture, fitting the mood, fitting the theme of the picture. So yes, this is how I edited these photos from the photo fair event. All right, that was it. I hope you learned something and I hope to see you in the next one, the video after this one. Or maybe watch a video that's already on the channel. Maybe it's good, interesting, share it with a friend. I don't know, might be good, right? I'll see you in the next one.